In this video, we'll bounce the equation for C20, H42 plus O2. And don't let these large numbers scare you. There's really just the same process that we use to balance any combustion reaction. We have a hydrocarbon and oxygen and get carbon dioxide and water. So let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation and then balance it. We have 20 carbons, 42 hydrogens, and then two oxygen atoms. On the product side, we have the one carbon, two hydrogens, two oxygens, plus there's one oxygen here with the water, so we have three. We're going to leave the oxygens till last. That's a really good strategy here with combustion reactions. Start with the carbons. We could just put a 20 as our coefficient here, so 1 times 20. That balances the carbon atoms, so we're done with that. We should update the oxygens, though. So for the oxygens, we have 20 times 2, that's 40, plus that 1 here, with the water, 41. Let's balance the hydrogens. We could put a 21 right here, 2 times 21. That gives us 42. So now the hydrogens are balanced, but we do need to update the oxygens. We have 2 times 20, so we have 40 plus 1 times 21. So now we have 61 oxygen atoms. And this is where it kind of gets a little challenging. You have this odd number here, so you can't really just put a whole number and get the oxygens balanced. But because the oxygens by itself, whatever we do to that, it won't affect the carbons and hydrogens. So here's how we can do it. We can use fractions when we balance equations. So let's think about this. 2 times something, that would equal 61. 2 times 61 over 2. That equals 61. The twos cancel out. You have 61. So we could just put 61 over 2. And this equation is balanced. These are the correct coefficients for this equation. Teachers often don't like to have these fractions when you have your coefficients here. So we can fix that by multiplying everything by 2. So we'd put a 2 in front of this C20H42. 2 times 61 over 2, the 2's cancel out like they did here, you get 61. 2 times 20, that gives us 40. 2 times 21, that gives us 42. And these are the whole number coefficients for C20H42 plus O2. Let me clean that up just a little bit. And this is the balanced equation for C20H42 plus O2. The key here, don't be frightened by the big numbers. Leave the oxygen till last, and if you need to, you can use fractions to figure this out. Then you just double everything to get whole number coefficients. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.